Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, another lovely, slightly different question, which is number C. Number C brings our attention to uh, savings, uh, not continuous savings, where once of amount is saved and another once of amount is saved. But a series of withdrawals are taking place in the future. It says... Uh, 15,000 was deposited into an account at 10% per annum compounded annually. So this is our present value amount initially invested. At the end of a uh, year for a further amount of 10,000 was added to it. Okay, after four years, meaning we have year one, year two, year three, year four, uh, three, two, one. In year one, 15K was uh, deposited. At the end of year four, 10K was deposited. So uh, two amounts were deposited at a different time interval. 10K, 10,000, uh, 15K, 15,000. I don't know why I'm doing that. 15,000 and 10,000, end of year four. There we have our line. We don't know the focal date yet. This is the rough information we have. 2,500 was withdrawn from the account at the end of year 6 to year 11. So there's year 5 here. From year 6, 2.5 is withdrawn. Up until year 11, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2.5 is withdrawn. And remember that will be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is for six years, six years of withdrawal. In six years, every year we made withdrawal of 2,500 rands. Then now the question is how much will be in the account after the last withdrawal is made? That means just after 11 years. And there we can say 11 years, this is 11 years. So now how much will be in the account uh, at the end of 11th year? That means our focal date is 11 years. Now coming back to the beginning, from the uh, to the beginning, 15,000 is invested at year zero, not year one in fact, year zero. So it will earn interest uh, up until the 11th year. So we need to calculate the future value of that initial deposit. End of year for 10,000 was added and this will end interest up until the focal date. And again, we need the future value of the payments. These are PMTs, future value at the end of the focal date because that is when the last uh, withdrawal, sorry, the last withdrawal took place. Remember, we say PMT because these are the same payments. So we call them PMT whenever it's the same amount of money. Either we are making withdrawals or we are making payments in the calculator, we treat them as PMT because when somebody is withdrawing, somebody is paying. So now meaning the company is paying this person. So hence, uh, it's treated as the same as PMT. So first of all, we need the future value of the deposits and the future value of the withdrawals. Now let us start with the first future value. Uh, first future value is the future value of the 10,000 that will be in the account from year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. So this will be year, z year, 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 year 0, year 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, not year 4, from year 1 up until year 11. Then from year 4 up until year 11. So we need the future values of the two amounts. So we have our plus minus 15,000 rands which is our present value. Uh, the interest uh, that is earned in this investment is 10% per annum compounded annually. We have 10, our N will be 11. We compute our future value. Then our future value uh, will be calculated by saying PV Plus minus 15,000 is our present value. 
10 is our interest, 11 is our N, we compute future value. This is 42,796 rand 75 cents. So this will be what will be in the account at the end of 11 years. If 10,000 is invested and 10% of the interest is compounded once a year. So we go to the second uh, investment, which is plus minus 10,000. 10,000 is PV. Then we have interest rate that has not changed 10% compounded annually. Our N will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Our N will be 7 years because it will start earning interest from um, year 5 because the second deposit was added at the end of uh, uh, year 4. At end year 4 meaning it will start in year 5. So it will be 11 minus 4 meaning 7 years will be the period in which this amount will earn interest. Then we need to know the amount in the future, how much will it be? Plus minus 10,000 is the present value. 10 is interest, 7 is N, compute future value. We have 19,487. 19,487.17. So now this will be uh, our future value for the second investment. Then now we need to add the two there so that we can know how much will be in the account uh, after this 11 years. Uh, total uh, future value of the investments total future value of investments and the total future value of the investments is the 42,796.75 plus the 19,487.17 plus 19,000 487.17 which gives us 62,280 3.92 cents this is what will be in the savings account but withdrawals may be made withdrawals of how much withdrawals of 2.5 for 6 years so we need to know the future value of the withdrawals we say plus minus 2.5 is our PMT. Then the interest is 10%. Our N is 6. Then we compute the future value of the withdrawals. Then that future value of the withdrawals plus minus 2.5 PMT. 10 is I. 6 is N compute future value. It is 19,289. 19,289.03. So now balance in the account will be the difference. Balance in the account. And Year 11 is equal to 62,283.92 we get 42,000 nine hundred and ninety four and 
uh, $0.90. Cents. So now this will be what will be in the account. Remember, we just calculated the future value at the end of the withdrawals because that was the focal date. And in the previous ones that we dealt with, we would have noticed that uh, after we calculated the future value of the withdrawals, which we have seen it to be to be 19,000. After the calculation of this uh, future value, we'll normally accumulate it until the future uh, the, the focal date. But in this case, uh, the date, uh, which is the future date of the withdrawals uh, from the last withdrawal, which is the PMT, is the same as the focal date. So we just stopped it there, then it became uh, easy like that. With that, guys, uh, thank you very much. Now the next uh, exercise that I am coming with now is a very lovely exercise. Exercise 3.2 is a very broad exercise that after its completion, you will definitely be the master of uh, annuities, which is uh, ordinary annuity, calculating the future value of an annuity. Now, our weight is 3.2 for us, a person who wants to deposit 800.